Hello and welcome in everybody to Midwest Sports Cards. Hope everybody's doing fine. I'm doing fine. Uh, got some cards this morning at Meyer, and I just kind of wanted to open them up and do a video for you. So, also, uh, what you're looking at is my new break mat. So, I did get this. Um, I didn't design it. I had a, a friend do that. I will put... Uh, I'll try to put his link in the bio, um, in the description, sorry, and then I will um, let you know uh, where I got the mat. So if you want to get one also, that link will be in the description as well. Um, I'm going to try to do that. I'm not the best at doing those things, but I'm going to try. So um, actually, it's bigger than the, the frame, so I'm going to kind of pick up uh, the camera and just kind of go over it. So Midwest Sports Cards is, uh, that's my logo. That's my, uh, that's it guys, right there. What do you think of it? Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Put it down in the comments. So the thing that I was wondering about, if it would make a difference, if the, this is actually a baseball, okay? Um, I do all sports, but baseball is, is my, by far my favorite. Um, but I was wondering if this baseball was actually white. I mean, probably you wouldn't see the sports very well unless it was uh, like a, an off-white or something like that. But if it's white, I was wondering if it would detract from the cards because the, the darker the mat, the better you're gonna actually see the cards, I think. So that might be and let me know what you think about the lighting. Please let me know. Give me some feedback. Kind of get a, I got a new studio here. I got new lighting and stuff like that. So I'm really hoping uh, that uh, this is, this is looking good, but I'd kind of like to have some feedback. I would appreciate it. So uh, this morning at Meyer, there was really nothing uh, to brag about. Um, I only bought two boxes of baseball just because I actually got up at five o'clock in the morning to go. Uh, so I got one blaster box of Absolute and one hanger of Series 2. Um, so it looks like I might be a little bit fogged. So I'm going to try and I'm going to try and clean the lens. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, I do not edit my videos. I'm just a guy like you. Uh, just ripping cards and doing videos so hope you like it I did want to announce uh, or reveal uh, tell you a little story before I get into the break I'll try to make this quick um, I have done some stadium club openings those videos are uh, on my video list so if you want to go to my video list scroll down you can see my stadium club uh, break and uh, my rip I guess and uh, check that out. So I ended up having a uh, one stadium club blaster left. And so I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna make a video on that. I already did it. Uh, just have one random stadium club blaster. So I'm just gonna open it up off camera. Probably nothing real big in it, you know. Um, and lo and behold, I hit probably the biggest card that I've ever pulled to this point out of a pack. And it is a rookie autograph, number to 25, Alec Bohm. On card. This is on card autograph. It's a black parallel. You see the black nameplate. It's black. And it is numbered to 25, if you can see that right there. And I got number six. So, while wow, that card is freaking the bomb. That was a big hit out of a blaster box. I mean, who would have thought? And uh, so I, I did end up getting a, uh, another rookie autograph for my PC from my cousin. Uh, we did some trading. He's an Astros fan, and I did some trading for this. So it only cost me cheap Astro cards, and it's Tyler Stevenson. He's already had four career walk-off hits. Uh, he did one against uh, San Diego just last week. This guy is actually pretty good. Uh, so, but at any rate, it's not going anywhere because this is my PC. So, uh, thanks a lot, uh, Bobby. I do appreciate it, my cousin. 
so I just wanted to show those two autographs off. And so, yeah, without any further ado, uh, let's get into this. Uh, I think I'm going to do, I'll do the absolute first. So, uh, I got my knife back, so we're ready to rock and roll. My son had it, and uh, so I had to remind him who was the rightful owner of that. <laughs> so I got it back. I do appreciate all the support, guys. If, uh, if you don't mind, while I'm opening these uh, up, if you would uh, hit that like button. Uh, I don't get many likes on my uh, channel. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I'm not doing a very good job. If I'm not doing a very good job, could you please let me know what I need to do so that... Uh, so that, and there's the patch. So I'm gonna put that on the bottom. Um, yeah. So if you could let me know uh, what I could do to get some likes. Uh, I'm trying to grow the channel, uh, you know. I've gotten over 50. Uh, I wanna try to get to 100 and then get to 200. And so, yeah, if you could share this with your friends, if you could help me out, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, I'm just gonna to try to continue to do uh, openings and uh, yeah just be consistent with that and try to grow so let me go ahead and uh, zoom in just a little bit here so here we go uh, Billy Martin and there's a Kuna Jr. Woodruff JD Martinez and there's a Billy Martin Green Cody Bellinger unsung heroes Billy Martin this is a Billy Martin pack my goodness and who do we have here icons nolan arenado uh insert okay not bad these packs are the hardest packs to open up i i've never had trouble with packs like i have here so all right here we go cal ripkin Zach Galen, I have one just to, and there's a uh, same card, uh, Acuna Jr. with the green. So got that parallel. And here's a Jake Cronenworth rookie and a Bobby Dahl back, back to back rookies. So, uh, and then Alex Rodriguez. I'm going to try to get through this so it's not a real long video, but I kind of did some stuff up front. So it might be a little bit long. If you don't have an attention span, uh, if you don't like to sit around and watch, uh, I will do a full recap at the end, so if you want to just uh, if you want to just fast forward till you get down to the end, I understand. That's fine, uh, but just don't forget to hit that uh, like button. Cabrera, Aaron Nola, Kyle Tucker. Who do we have here? Mookie Betts, and there's a Fernando Tatis Extreme Team insert. That's cool. And then his uh, counterpart uh, right behind that, Manny Machado. Not too bad. Two more packs left in this absolute. Trying to get through it. I think the the tops hanger will be, you know, fairly quick. So, hoping to stay under 15 minutes here. Here's a Babe Ruth. And J.D. Martinez. Cattell Marte, rookie prospects, Kalenic. Um, he had a good week uh, in the minors. He came up and struggled. Uh, now he's back down in the minors, but he, he had a good week this week, actually. And the babe again. All right. Last pack, last pack, Mo magic. Can't say mojo. Other people say it. I'm not going to try to copy them, but all right, here we go. Let's get this. Hopefully it's a uh, patch auto. Verlander, Shohei Otani, and then we'll go off the back. DJ LeMahieu, there's a rookie. I like Bohm, rookie, cool. Drew Waters, and the last card here is, can't see the name, Jameer something. All right, I'm going to uh, flip this over in three, two, one. Let's see who it is. Rookie Threads, Evan White. So that's pretty cool. It's a rookie. So that is awesome. Um, and it's numbered. That's even better. I just saw that. It's numbered out of 199. So if you can see that down there in the corner. And it's a, a green, green parallel even. So let's see what it says here. 
um, if it's actually a napkin or if it's game used. Yep. It is the enclosed player worn used material. So you can see it right there. So that is cool. Game worn used material. That is cool. So I'll set that off to the side. I cannot find, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it up on the tree. I can't find uh, my uh, sleeves for the thick cards for some reason. So I gotta get some more of them in. Um, gotta get some more of them in. All right, here we go. Moving through here. We're looking for autograph, short print. I like the, uh, I think it's 65 inserts that they have in this pack. So I'll try to go fairly quick through the base and just kind of get to the hits as quickly as possible. I will kind of cut it in half and we'll save the hits to the last, but I'm not going to like slow play the, the base. A lot of team cards. I'm expecting a lot of team cards in these, which I, I'm not a big fan of. I'll just sort out the rookies. Um, hopefully we can get some uh, Key Brian Hayes. There's a rookie, 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 rookie. So hit a big strand of rookies there. The thing that I like about uh, this year is just a ton of rookies. I mean, the potential for, uh, for the 2021 uh, sets are there's just a whole lot of uh, whole lot of potential for the set to be good because then you know typically speaking if you get you know some some guys to really perform then um, kind of makes the set you know that much more valuable so all right here we go is that too close let me back it up just a little bit Okay. There's a rookie. Not any big rookies that, I mean, for right now, rookies you never can tell because, I mean, they can go off at any time. I just can't stand this top flip. It just drives me nuts. Definitely don't like uh, rookie pitchers. And there's Dwight Smith before my PC. Move through here. So, so far, none of the top rookies that I'm really looking for. And, and we have an upside down card and a gold card right behind that. So hopefully uh, this is one of the top rookies and it's a short print. So let's see what we have here and i'm going to go ahead and reveal the it's numbered out of 499 okay so it's green it's not a it's not a rookie alex young pitcher even so and we have a paven smith and there's a significant statistics so two numbered cards back to back let me get them in sleeves. I mean, probably not worth much, but uh, yeah. I mean, good hits nonetheless. I can put them out there. Maybe somebody, they're both Arizona Diamondback guys. So I do follow, I mean, I can't remember his name. Uh, follow a guy on YouTube and he's a big Arizona Diamondback guy. So I might try to reach out to him, see if you're interested in him. George Brett. And there, there's Kirloff. That's one of the top rookies that we're looking for. Verlander, Luis Robert, and there's another one. Uh, so, set these off to the side. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve these up. We're 14:24, so I'll try to sleeve these up, round it out real quick, and do kind of a uh, review here. Uh, I like these 65. I believe it's 65. I could be wrong. Okay, so um, here's uh, two, two of the top rookies out of uh, Top Series 2. Uh, Jazz, Chisholm, and Alex Kirilov. We did not hit the key, Brian Hayes. Um, so here are the two numbered cards that came out of uh, uh, Series 2, the green cracked ice, and then uh, that's numbered out of 499, and then the uh, 2021 
uh, gold card with, that looks brown. So, uh, okay, and moving on to the absolute. Uh, we got the rookies that we got, uh, Alec Baum, Jake Cronenworth, and Bobby Dahlback. And here's the uh, here's the big hit. It is a game used uh, rookie threads. Uh, so he did actually game game worn, I guess you should say. He hit it. So there you go. It's numbered out of 199. So I do appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much uh, for uh, all your support. Hit that like button and share this with all of your friends. And I will see you on the next one.